is Asmahan, and she's still one of the most famous singers in the Arab language. And she, I read about her life, and then I got her biography, and she's just an incredible woman, an incredible artist, and revolutionary singer, uh, and also a great uh, film star. And she, she was a princess too, uh, a Druze princess from Syria. She grew up in Lebanon and then lived in Jerusalem and Cairo. And uh, she was a bit of a rebel. In fact, she was so much of a rebel that her family wanted to kill her. And they sent somebody to assassinate her, one of the cousins. They pooled their money, sent this guy to assassinate her in Cairo, and she opened the door, and he fell in love with her. He spent all the money taking her out, and then went back to Beirut, having not killed her. <laughs> she committed the offence of appearing in a film with her head uncovered, among other things. She was also a gambler and a smoker, and an incredible beauty. Um, a British general that met her in Jerusalem in 1941 said that she bowled over every British officer with the speed and accuracy of a machine gun. <laughs> and despite the fact uh, that she had all this incredible charisma, she lived a very dangerous life. And uh, she was recruited by British intelligence in 1941 in preparation for the attack on the Vichy French armies in Lebanon and Syria. Um, and everything went wrong, to cut a short, uh, to cut a long story short, everything went wrong and she got blamed for a lot of things. So she ended up in the position of um, having millions of people who loved her and a lot of men that were in love with her and four foreign governments that wanted her dead, which is perhaps why her chauffeur drove her car into the River Nile in 1945. And he didn't die, but she did. And she was halfway through recording her last film, which was called Love and Vengeance. And that's the title of this song. Songs of living home, songs of love and vengeance, but I'm 
As my